Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got such a great project for you today. Take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? I love flying geese for one and I love how the colors go from light to dark on this. However, once I show you this easy way to make flying geese, you're going to be making them in all kinds of colors because you're going to love this. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is one packet of 10 inch squares and we have used the gray area palette by Robert Kaufman. It's just, you know, I just just a fun line. I love how the colors go light to dark. Now on the background fabric right here, you have several options. You can use three yards if you have yardage. Uh, you can use a packet of 10 inch squares or four packets of five inch squares because we're going to be cutting them all into five inch squares eventually. So you have some options on that. So let me show you how to make this quilt. All right, the first thing we're going to do, um, I am actually using 10 inch squares to start with for my background piece, and I'm going to cut those into four five inch squares. So I'm going to lay my ruler, center up my fabric on my mat, and then I'm going to lay my ruler on here, and I'm going to cut four five inch squares out of this square. So we're going to do this, and I'm just going to turn them, keep them, keep them straight on my lines. Lay my ruler in here and cut five. I tend to kind of use whatever I have it on hand uh, that's handy. So now I have my five inch squares. I'm going to make a stack of those. Now you have, to, uh, you have to cut your geese part. We're starting with a 10 inch square and we're going to cut that right in half again. So we are going to lay our ruler right on the edge here. Let me, let me square this up and make sure this is really square because this is important. It's got to be right in half, just like that. All right, so now I have these two pieces. Now I'm going to turn these and I'm going to cut one inch off the end. So we're going to take these just like this and come in one inch. And this is going to give me two geese. All right. So now I've cut my one inch off of there and you're ready to make your geese. So now this is the fun part. You're going to take these and fold these in half and we're just going to do one at a time. So I'm going to set this one over here. So I'm going to fold these in half. I'm making a little finger press line right here and I put my fold right at the top. I'm then going to take two five inch squares and we are going to sandwich this. So I'm going to lay one five inch square down, keeping my fold at the top. I'm going to line up my bottom seam just like this. And I'm going to put another five inch square right on the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew one seam right here. With this one seam, we're going to get a flying geese. So this is really exciting. So let's go over to the sewing machine and sew our one seam. All right. I am going to make sure my needle's in the right spot. We're going to sew a quarter of an inch right down this side. Okay, now here comes the magic. We've made our, our little sandwich and we're going to open this up and see how it has this fold right here. We are just going to pull this over and look at that. You get a flying geese just like that, just from the one seam. Here, let me show you again. We're going to do like the one seam here, roll it back, put your finger on this edge right here, pull it back and you get a flying geese. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? So let me press this down. You're going to be making flying geese like crazy people now. I mean, just a million of them because they're so cinchy now. One seam. All right. So now I have my flying geese like this. And every once in a while, they're, you know, a little bit wonky on the bottom. So I'm just going to square those up like this. Lay my ruler right on the bottom. And because this was so cinchy, I'm going to walk you through it one more time. Again, we have our 10 inch square that we've cut in half and cut one inch off. So it is now five by nine. We're folding it in half. We're going to sandwich it between two squares, two five inch squares. Our fold is at the top and we line up our rough edges on the bottom. Put our, our uh, pieces along the side just like this. You're going to sew one seam and when you open it, you get this. So just make sure a couple of things, make sure that you're, you have your fold at the top. That's the most important thing. All right. So now let me show you how we put this together. So what we did was we made all of our blocks and we just went ahead and attached them 
together going the same direction. So this little edge up here is what gives you room for your seam so you don't lose your point. So we're going to put these right sides together and we're going to take them to the sewing machine and sew them down. So again, it's our same quarter of an inch. And what I did was I put two of the geese together to make your block. That makes your block. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to open this up and press it down. Oh, my geese, he's got a broken wing. <laughs> there we go. Let's fix him. Let's give him some steam. We fix him right up. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now I put my geese together in blocks like this, and then we just took and we stacked our blocks. We made a row out of the two blocks, just like this. So sewing them right together, you're gonna get your rows. So on this quilt right here, what we did is, so if you count these two as a block, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six across, seven blocks down. And this is gonna give you a quilt that's 67 by 76. And you'll notice we didn't put any, no border on it, just a binding. We picked an, um, a medium gray out of the middle and about three quarters of a yard and that'll give you a binding. And it just, I mean, it's so quick and easy. So because this was such a fun project and such an easy way to make flying geese, guess what? I made another project and I wanna show you. I took that same method, made the same flying geese, only I did it out of Christmas fabric. I used about a half a yard of red, half a yard of green cut me some geese and made an advent calendar. There are six in each row, so you've got 24 sides. I'm not a big free motion quilter, but I can straight line quilt. And so I followed the shape of the geese and I just straight lined quilt, quilted that all the way around it on my sewing machine, but I left the pockets open. So now you can put little uh, advent things that you wanna do to help you enjoy the season. And we have provided a, we have a PDF that you'll see in the description below where you can print off little ideas of things to do during the holiday season. I thought this was so fun. So this is how they'll come when they print off. And then you'll just cut them into these little squares like this. You'll fold them in half and you'll slide them into the pockets and every day for the whole holiday season, you can pick one and uh, it'll just, you know, help keep those holidays bright and happy and having a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed making this. It was just such a fun, quick project. I hope you have wonderful holidays and we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.